What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, me and Lauren have taken a trip up to Stonely Park to visit Race Retro Show. It hasn't been on for a couple of years due to the pandemic, but this is its first year back. Let's have a look around and see what's going on today. I've just wandered to the back of the show to start off with. Now this is a Pride of Paddock area. We've got this absolutely stunning Anglia. It's a 105E Deluxe. When I say I love this colour, I literally love this colour. Like the minty green, proper classic. Just checking out this Austin Minor pickup. It's a 1972 model. Now this has been displayed as a bit of a difference because it's got a Z-Tech in the bay. Hopefully I can catch this with its bonnet open later on. Seeing as it's race retro and sticking with the theme, this is Derek Webb's 1967 Ford Cortina GT. Look at that. We've got another rally car up next. This is a Mark 1 Golf GTI. I used to really like these as a kid before I got highly influenced by Fords, but I think that really looks apart, doesn't it? And to finish off the small little Pride of Paddock area, we've got a Ford GT40. Lovely looking RS200 here. Now there is actually one of these for sale at the Silverstone Auctions, which is also here this weekend. It's got a really good rundown of the information there. If you want to pause the video, I'm not going to um, read through all of that, but it is a Group B road car. Check out that front suspension. Really cool to actually be able to see the engine. Turbos there. We've got another Group B rally car as well. This is an Escort RS 1700T. Now you don't get to do this every day. I'm now sitting in the Escort. Check this out, look how many switches and buttons there is, all the gauges at the front. This is some cockpit. Just looking around this Escort, and apparently it's the only one left in the world. The gentleman was saying that, uh, looking at these oil coolers, he said one's for the diff, one's for the engine. Imagine that, separate oil coolers. It's, uh, yeah, some bit of kit. The Escort's running 345 brake horsepower. Yeah, it's some bit of kit. Just been talking to the owner of the Escort and the RS200. Really interesting chatting to him. He's owned the RS200 32 years. Actually, the original tyres still on it, and yeah, he bought it for 25 grand back then. Now. Is it worth a million? You say, yeah. that million. That's crazy. Another rally escort. This one being a yellow Mark One. There's also a stunning Mark Two Escort here. Big wide arches. It's got the full works done to it in it. That is well cool. This is pretty funky. I've seen people like paint up these barrels before. But I've never seen them with like a game in them. That's cool. If you ever have a man cave, then I'm buying one of these. RS200. What a difference. Check this out. Bit of wall art. You can buy this for £700 without the civvies on or it's a grand with the four civvies on. Looks really cool. It's all molded out of fiberglass. 
Huh? Nice bit of wall art though for a man cave. And a little Nova. Check out this MG Metro. <laughs> this is absolutely nuts. Engine in the boot. Nice mini. Just looking around the classic touring car racing club. Really ought to go and watch some of these races. Just checking out this Cosworth lump. Fun fact. 205 Pinto block. Nice Talbot Sunbeam Lotus. There's a big ICG air filter on that, mainly because it's on their stand. <laughs> Definitely one of the cleanest boot setups I've seen at the show yet. That's some trailer. Maybe someday I'll be able to uh, afford one like that. If I had a Mini, it's cool, isn't it? This Mini is a Austin Cooper S, 1969. The car was purchased in 1986. Run on the road for a year, then it was totally rebuilt. Starred in loads of championships. It's cool. I've had a little look around the show, in size, some really cool cars, but we've been attracted to the noise out here. Rally cars are already starting to go around, whatever tracks they've got here, and also the auto jumble's just up here, so let's have a browse. RS200, one of them in the auction. Lovely rally wide arch Mark II Escort. Me and Lauren are just having a quick look round to all the rally cars. Them axle stands are so cool, they slot into the seal. You just work on it there. A couple of rally Talbots. Whenever I'm at shows like this, I love having a look around the pits. Really cool mark to escort here. This next rally car is a Metro. How cool is that though? Big old kit on it to let some air into the rear engine. It's a Austin Rover MG Metro. It's a Group B rally car. Year it was built was 1985. It's got a V6 in the boot, 24 valve, 4 cam. That is brilliant. What a bit of kit. Yeah. 
just got back from a weekend up at race retro and what an amazing weekend that was i love attending shows in january and february time because they're mainly indoors although there was the rally stage which was outside and we had to brave the weather but it was well worth braving the weather for i felt like this show had a real mixture of everything there was some really mint show cars but also some race cars that were willing to get muddy in the rally stages there was also some classic go-karting I featured just at the end of the video which was cool to watch. Now there was actually a massive section of the show that I haven't shown in this video and that is the Silverstone Auctions. Now that's going to be coming very soon on my channel. I think they had 200 plus cars going for auction over the weekend and yeah that's in a separate video coming on my channel very soon. But overall there was loads of different aspects of the show to enjoy and even a auto jumble which I managed to pick up a wiring loom for my escort I also managed to pick up some kickboards for my escort and something else which I've forgotten I don't know I think that's about it <laughs> but yeah a short and sweet outro massive shout out to anyone who came and said hello there's a few people that said they're subscribed to the channel and to keep up the good work so I really do appreciate the words of encouragement if you did enjoy this video, please give it a like, and if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel to see more. Thank you all for watching, and until the next one, I'll see you guys later.